Good evening, everyone. This is Robert. RJL Network presents another exciting edition of Inside Pitch. The 1972 postseason is on the air. We are at Yankee Stadium. This is game three of the American League Division Series between the Oakland Athletics and the New York Yankees. This series is tied one game to one. Whoever wins tonight has a chance to eliminate the opposing team, and I believe that game would be Tuesday. I believe it would be uh, probably Tuesday, I think. Uh, since we already had one team eliminated as the Pittsburgh Pirates were kicked out by the Astros last night. But now the A's and the Yankees try to see who will be facing elimination in a few days. We got a good one here tonight, hopefully. And, well, so far this series is going kind of interesting. But uh, I still think that uh, we got a lot to do here. Jeremy Brooks, Phoenix Knight. Will Mack and Tracy Meehan join us here at Yankee Stadium. I'm not sure I know. I don't think you visited my chat before, Will Mack. So it is good to have you here, my good man. And Brian B. and John Haverly. Uh, let's see. Phoenix Knight working on all the investigative cards for a Feast of Hemlock Vale. <laughs> well, uh, Phoenix Knight, I have all of the Arkham Horror uh, LCG card games all the way from Corset to Hemlock Vale, and I just really received um, Marvel Champions um, Age of Apocalypse. That just ca that just uh, that just came in today. So Phoenix Knight, uh, Arkham Horror, and Marvel Champions, you and I are on the same page. And let's see, yes, and Will Max says, "Yes, the first time doing a chat here. Be gentle. No problem, Mister Mac." We are very happy to have we are very happy to have you here, sir. And yeah, that Mets game earlier was kind of yeah, but it's only game one. We'll see how things go. Meanwhile, let's get back to 1972 as the Swingin' A's play the Yanks here at Yankee Stadium. The series is tied at one. Let's get to it. Starting pitcher for the New York Yankees, their number four starter, Mike Kekich, gets his first appearance. 10 wins, 13 losses, no saves, a 3.70 ERA, 78 strikeouts, and 71 walks. We are at Yankee Stadium. This was a pitcher's park in 72. 90 home runs, minus 5 to strikeouts, and minus 2 to walks. May not see many Ks here tonight, but you never know what inside pitch may get to do. So, if everybody's ready, let's play some Friday night baseball as we go to the top of the first. Leading off for the Athletics will be the shortstop, Bert Campanaris. He is two for nine for the series. We're going to use blue, white, and white dice. Yankees are the home team. Not an empty seat here in the Bronx at the house that Ruth built. Campanaris sets up. Kekic gets ready. Let's get game three of this ALDS underway. Let's go to the first pitch. 4-4 four, four against the righty. It's a blank. Campanaris, 3-6, and it's a pop-out to short. Getting over there is going to be Gene Michael, and he will put it away for the out. Next batter is the left fielder, Joe Rudy. Rudy is 5-8 for eight for the series. He's off to a pretty good start. Kekic, 5-3 against the righty. Blank. Rudy, 1-2. That's hit the right field, a fly ball to right. And Ron Swoboda is going to go ahead and get that. And he will make the catch for out number two. The Yankees do have a left-handed a left-handed pitcher batting lineup today. Next batter will be the right fielder, Hall of Famer himself, Reggie Jackson. He is three for eight for the series, but he had two bombs in the last game. Kekic will go ahead and he will pitch. Kekic, one three. That's a double question mark. Lefty, one to five's an out. Seventeen is high. Jackson, 1-6, and that's fly ball to straightaway center. Bobby Mercer will go ahead and get it. And he will make the catch and retire the side. 1-2-3 go the A's, and we go to the bottom of the first. As Frank Rosenk and Jimmy Jam joins us here at Yankee Stadium. Starting pitcher for the Oakland Athletics, their number three starter, Ken Holtzman. 
19 wins, 11 losses, a 2 5 1 ERA, 134 strikeouts, and 46 walks in 72 for the A's. So now let's go to the Yankees, leading off in the bottom of the first, second baseman, Horace Clark. He's having a great series, a great postseason so far. He is 7 for 16. Holtzman with the pitch. 3-3, three, three, strikeout, 11, no way. Clark, 3-2, and against the lefty, Horace Clark smacks that into left field, and that's going to be a double. Clark continues to overachieve in this series. Leadoff man on second base for the Yankees. And that will bring up the catcher, John Ellis, who's in there for the injured Thurman Munson. Ellis is three for ten so far for the series. Clark on at second. And nothing on the 11. Holtzman will pitch. Holtzman, 4-3. Uh, that's a double question mark. A 1-15, to 15, a righty, an automatic out. That's a 13. And that is going to be a ground ball to short. Campaneris will get that. He will throw to first for the out. And Clark, he will stay at second base. But the ball was hit pretty hard. One down. And now the center fielder, Bobby Mercer. Mercer is one for 12 for the series. He's underachieving a bit, but that one is a home run. Uh, yeah, I did see that too there, Brian B. I think it was probably... I checked, the, I checked the profile. I think it was probably a troll. Clark on at second. Strategy roll. And nothing on the 16. Clark will stay put. Holtzman will go ahead and pitch. Holtzman, 5-5. Five, five, wild pitch. That's too high. Ball one. Holtzman will go ahead and try again. Holtzman, 6-4. Against the lefty. Strikeout six. And that is too high. Mercer. 4-2, base hit, left field, that's a single. Clark, base runner, base runner three. Single to left to zero, a one to three. Clark will score, and he won't. He's going to be held at third base. So the Yankees got something going on here in the bottom of the first. And now they'll bring up the left fielder. Roy White. White is 6 for 12 for the for the postseason. He's having a very good series. Runners at the corners. One out. The infield is now going to come in. Strategy roll. Nothing on the four. No. Mercer stays put. Holtzman with the pitch. Holtzman. 1-4. Strikeout. Eight is high. White. 1-4. And that's a ground ball to second base. Clark's base running rating is a one with the infield in. That is a three. They're not going to send him. The throw is going to go to first for the out, and Mercer will go to second. So White grounds out, but Mercer moves over. And now that will bring up the first baseman, Ron Bloomberg, who's in there for the injured, for the injured Felipe Alou. Bloomberg is one for seven for the, for the postseason. Two men down, runners at the court, runners at second and third. Strategy roll, nothing on the seven. Holtzman trying to get out of this jam. Holtzman, 5-4, walk, 17, that is high. Bloomberg, 1-1, one, one, and he will get out of the jam. He grounds it to first. Mike Epstein's going to take it to the bag himself. And end the inning, no runs, two hits. Yankees had an opportunity to get something. But they will come up a bit short, no score after one. I would like to mention, and although I did, you know, now, of course, if that guy's watching, and I said I called him a troll, I'm going to apologize for that. But I would like to mention that, um, I would like to mention that, yes, the Pirates were a better team, okay, and they did lose to an inferior team. I would like to mention in 2022, the Los Angeles Dodgers won 107, 107 uh, wins, and they lost to the San Diego Padres at 89 wins in their division series. I don't we, – that kind of stuff does happen because lately with, with the new playoff system that Major League Baseball has, okay – the best teams don't always win the World Series. Not like it was back in the day when only division winners got there. Okay. The best team does not win the World Series late, uh, lately. I think the last team 
that actually had the best record to win the World Series was what? 2013? Was was what? 20 was it was it 2013, I think? What was it? The Cardinals? The 2013 Cardinals, did they have the best record and they won it in 20 was it 2013? I'm not sure which one it was. I think it at that I think there was the last team the last time the team with the best record actually won the whole thing. Red Sox won in 13, 2018 Red Sox. I'm not sure. Maybe maybe Vita up is right. Maybe it was maybe it was uh, 2018. I'm not 100 percent sure. Maybe it was. You guys have to check me. We go to the top of the second. No score here. And leading off for the Athletics will be the third baseman, Sal Bando. And he has won for eight for the series. How many times has the underdog beaten the best team? We can't count that high. Kekic, 1-4, strikeout 10, that is high. Bando, 1-5, that's a fly ball, hit the right field. And it will be Ron Swoboda getting to that. And he'll make the catch for out number one. I didn't even want, I'll tell you the truth, Brian B. If you didn't mention that comment, I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even said anything today. Here's the first baseman, Mike Epstein. He bats against left-handed starters. Epstein is one for four. Keck gets with the pitch. Three, four. That is a blank. He's not tired. Epstein, four, three. And that's a fly out to center. And getting under that will be Bobby Mercer. And they'll put it away for out number two. And sometimes, of course, in a game like this, that's somehow, that's some, that's just how the dice roll. Truthful matter was the Pirates could not get a break in any of those games. Here's the center fielder, Angel Mangual. He is three for eight for the series. Kekic with the pitch. Kekic, four, six. Against the righty walk, 16 is high. Mangual, 3-4, and that's grounded to second base. That'll get taken care of by Clark. And he'll throw to first for the out. And 1-2-3, go the A's. We go to the bottom of the second. Did my 1969 Mets fall into that category? I'm going to say no, because they did win the division. I'm talking about a team... Well, then again, but then again, Tracy, maybe you are right. Maybe maybe you can include the 69 Mets in there. But they did win the division, though. So they were one of the best teams that year. And I think they did have over 100 wins. They were a heck of a team. They were underdogs against the Orioles, yes. But they were a heck of a team in 69. There are so many good – like, I'll put it this way. How many good teams have won, the, have won a championship over the great teams that should have won the championship? Can anybody, how about the 2001 Seattle Mariners? I rest my case on them. 116 wins and couldn't win, couldn't defeat the Yankees in the ALCS. And the 2001 Mariners was one of the best, if not the best, regular season baseball team in history. And of course, if you guys want to see what your Mariners can do, uh, the 2001 season was just released by for Inside Pitch by Chris Davis. Check it out if you want to give those Mariners a shot. Bottom of the second, leading off for the Yankees will be the right fielder, Ron Swoboda. He's actually taking his first swings as a starter. 248 average, a homer, and 12 RBIs. He's in right field. Holtzman with the pitch. Holtzman, 5-3, strikeout. Seven, he got him. He got Swoboda. First strikeout for Holtzman, one down. And now the Yankees will bring up the third baseman, Celerino Sanchez. He's making his first start against left-handed pitching. 248 average and 22 RBIs. Holtzman, he'll go ahead and pitch. Holtzman, 3-6, strikeout. 16 is high. Sanchez, 1-4, and that's a ground ball to short. Taken care of there by Campanaris. And that is out number two. And now the shortstop, Gene Michael. Michael is one for eleven for the series for the for the postseason. Holtzman, uh, two four walk one. That's ball four. He will walk Michael. Michael draws a two out walk. First walk given up by Holtzman, and that will bring up the pitcher Mike Keckett. She had a one thirty six average and four RBIs in seventy two. So Michael had four stolen bases. And that is a three. He'll stay where he is. Holtzman will go ahead and pitch. 
Holtzman, 4-5. Error on a grounder. Kekich, 4-2. That is a ground ball. The ground ball is short. The ball is hit to Campanaris. His error rating is a 6. That's a 12. He's got it. Throws to first and will get the out and retire the side. Nothing across except the walk. No score after two. With all the extra playoff rounds, I'd say the best regular season, Tim wins the World Series about 20. See, that's the thing. Like I say, I understand what people think. The best team does not always win the World Series, at least in baseball, especially now with the extra rounds. True. You really got to prove yourself in modern and contemporary baseball now to really win a World Series. That's why the Texas Rangers, which was not which was an underdog story last year, okay, yeah, they did prove themselves in that in uh, to win that whole thing last year. We go to the top of the third. Leading off will be the catcher, Dave Duncan. Duncan is two for eight for the series for the A's. No score, top of the third inning. Kekic, 5-5, five, five, error on a grounder. Duncan, 3-4. Nope, that's a fly out to center. And Bobby Mercer will go ahead and get it for the out. Next batter will be the second baseman, Dow Maxville. Maxville started the season with the St. Louis Cardinals, wound up on the Oakland Athletics later. He is 0 for 3 in the first game. Maxville plays second basis against left-handed starters. Kekic, 5-1, wild pitch, ball 1. 4-2, error on a throw. Maxville, 1-6. That is going to be an infield single to third base. That ball is picked up by San by Celerino Sanchez. His ever rating is an 11. That's a 15. He's going to hold the ball, and it's just going to be an infield single. So Maxville will go ahead and get to first. And he will get there on a ball on a hit. And now the batter is the pitcher, Ken Holtzman. He can hit the ball, a 178 average and six RBIs in 72. Infield is a double play. And nothing across there. Holtzman, though, a good bunt rating. Um, I'm gonna lay down the bunt here. Even though he's well, he's got a 178 average. Do I lay down the bunt or do I swing away? You know what? I think you'll lay down the bunt. The bunt is on. And corners will be called in. 1-6. Walk plus 10. Uh, that Make that 11. Minus 2 is a 9. The 15 is too high. So Holtzman will lay down the bunt. And that is bunted right to first base. And that is bunted right to Bloomberg. And his bunt rating will become a 3 with the corners in. That is a 4. And that's going to be a successful sacrifice bunt. So a very good pickup there. By Bloomberg, second baseman Horace Clark will cover the bag for the out. Maxville goes to second, two down. So a nice bunt by Ken Holtzman. He will get the runner. He will move the runner over on a sacrifice hit to first. And now there are two away, and here's Campy. Campy is 0 for 1. Maxville on its second. Strategy roll. Nothing on the six. Maxville stays where he is. Keck it. <clears throat> He'll go ahead and he will pitch. Kekic, 6-5 against the righty. It's a blank. Kepineris, 5-4. Base hit right past third. It's a single. Will it score Maxville with two outs? Base running three at the third? No. Maxville will have to hold the third base. He does not have the speed to score. They do get a hit, but they have to hold him at third base. First hit of the game for Campanaris. Now the batter is Rudy. Rudy's 0 for 1. Two outs. Nothing on the strat. Nobody's moving. Kekic will now deal with Rudy. Runners to the corners here. Two outs. Top of the third. Kekic. 3-2. Walk 12. That is high. Rudy. 2-1. It's a power hit to right field. That is a 19 and against the lefty. It's going to be a fly ball to right. So Aboda will get to the will get to the track. He'll make the catch and retire the side. No runs, two hits. And the A's cannot get any runs in there as Rudy just missed it. And we'll go to the bottom of the third. 
Yeah, Cardinals in 2006, great example. I mean, like I said, is, is, is the game, I mean, really, I just don't understand, I didn't understand the statement, but if you're watching this game here, sir, um, I do apologize, but um, these things happen. They all happen in any games, you know? Um, let's go to the bottom, let's go to the top of the third, bottom of the third inning. Horace Clark leads off for the Yankees. He got a double his first time up. Holtzman with the pitch. Holtzman, 3-2. Home run with chance. A switch right, 1-7. to seven. The 14 is too high. Clark, 3-3. Three, three. And he's going to line out right to third. And it's going to be Bando making the play. He hits that one hard. But right at Bando, one down. Batter now is Ellis. Ellis is 0 for 1. Holtzman with the pitch. Holtzman, 5-4. Walk, 15. That is too high. Ellis, 6-2. And that's fly to right field. Some bum out there by the name of Reggie is going to go ahead and make the catch. And that's out number 2. Here comes Mercer. Mercer, 1 for 1. Got a base hit his first time up. Holtzman, 6-4. Against the lefty, strikeout. Nine is high. Mercer, 6-6. Six, six, and it's fly to center field. And coming under that will be Angel Mangual. He will make the catch. And end the inning. No score after three. Three up and three down. It's like these games usually start out as pitcher's duels. But then the runs start coming later. Midlife Crisis joins us here at Yankee Stadium. Yes, MLC, we were tuning about the comment on the video. I wasn't even going to mention it if Brian B. didn't bring it up. I wasn't even going to mention it. Leading off for the swinging A's will be Reggie Jackson. He's 0 for 1. Catch it, Kekic. He'll go ahead and pitch. Kekic, 6-4. Range play. Jackson, 6-6. Six, six. It's a ground ball to first base. That ball is hit to Ron Bloomberg. He stinks. His range is a 1. That is a 6. And that's going to be hit down the line, and Jackson's going to get a leadoff double. No chance for Bloomberg, as Jackson will make second base. There you go, Brian B., the tournament. Hump, we've had 16 seeds beat 1. So is that rigged? Although, well, maybe, I don't know. Sometimes you wonder about that. Here's Bando. Bando is 0 for 1. Jackson will lead off double. Strategy roll, nothing on the 18. Kekic. I did read the comment, MLC. I did. If you know, I did. Every, any comment that is listed on any of my videos, I will heart it, knowing that I've read it. I sometimes don't always answer it. That's all. But, yes, I did read it, MLC, and I do thank you a little bit for the defense. Strat okay, so did I do a strategy roll? Uh, no, I didn't. If I did, I'll re-roll and nothing happening. Jackson stays at second. Kick it. 1-3. That is a double question mark. Righty, 1-11. to 11. Base it up the middle. That's a 10. That's a single right past the pitcher and into the outfield. Jackson will come around. He will score. Athletics are up 1-0. Bando comes through with an RBI single to get the A's ahead. And now the batter is Epstein. Epstein is 0 for 1. Infield, a double play depth. Still nobody out in the top of the four. Bando, he'll stay where he is. Kekic, he'll pitch. Kekic, 5-5, five, five, error on a grounder. Epstein, 2-1, uh, against the lefty. That's not an error. It's a slow hit ball to second base. Bando will make second. It's picked up by Clark. Epstein, a base running rating of two. The throw to first. They got him, one out. But Bando will move over to second. So that goes as a ground out to second. And now the batter is Mangual. Mangual is 0 for 1. Bando on at second. Now the infield is back. Strategy. Nothing on the 13. Kekic will pitch. Kekic. 1-3, double question mark, righty, 1-11, to 11, a base hit up the middle, that's a 5, that's a single, and the Athletics will get another run. 
Single right past the pitcher. Bando will come through. He will score. It's 2 nothing Athletics. Stadium groans. Ugh. RBI single by Mangual. And now here's Duncan. Duncan is 0 for 1. Infield is at double play. They go talk to Kekic on the mound real quick. Reroll the strat. Nothing happening. Kekic, he'll go ahead and he will pitch. Kekic, 1 5, strikeout. 15, no way. Duncan, 2 6. That's fly to left field. Roy White will go ahead and get it and make the play for out number two. Next batter is Maxville. Maxville got a base hit his first time up. Strategy. Nothing on the 16. Kekic will pitch. Kekic, 1-3. That's a pitcher result. Righty, 1-11. to Single up the middle. That's a 6, and that's a base hit by Maxville. Manguel will not have the speed. He has to hold it second even with two outs. So a base hit by Maxville. It's his second hit of the game. Mangual goes to third. And now the A's are hoping that Holtzman can come through with a hit. Strategy roll. That is a one, but nothing happening. Mangual stays where he is. Kekic will now pitch to Holtzman. A's have got two in, the, in here in the top of the fourth. Kekic. 5-5. Five, five. Error on a grounder. Holtzman. 4-1. That is a ground ball. The ground ball is short. The ball is into Gene Michael. His error rating is an 8. That's a 17. He won't make the error. He'll take care of it. He'll toss it to second to get Maxville. And that will end the inning. Two runs. Four hits. For the A's, they have a 2-0 lead going in the bottom of the fourth. Leading off for the Yankees will be Roy White. He's 0-1. for 1. Holtzman with the pitch. Holtzman, 6-5. That's at the park. Yankee Stadium, 2-2. Two -two. It's a home run to the pull side against the lefty. White needs a six. The nine is too high. The nine is too high, and that's going to be a fly ball to the left. And Joe Rudy is going to go ahead and get that. Well, actually, he's hitting from the right side. So that's pull, actually, so let's see, he's hitting from the right. So, yeah, it's a fly out the left. And he'll make the catch out there near the wall. And that is out number one. White just missed it by a, just missed it. Next batter is Bloomberg. Bloomberg is 0 for 1. Holtzman, a 6-5. That's at the park. Yankee Stadium, 2-4. And that's a blank. We will have a rare play with bases empty. So let's see what happens. 12. Pitcher grabs shoulder after pitch. Injury check for pitcher. Oh, no. But Ken Holtzman, however, has an injury rating of zero. So let's see if he is okay. As we check the injury, that is a four, and they just lost Ken Holtzman for the rest of the game. Youch. But he is fine. He'll come back for the next game. But that will be it for Ken Holtzman as he will come out. So timeout for a pitching change as Holtzman, Holtzman has to come out of the game. And that will definitely that could hurt them. And now we'll see a new pitcher for the A's. And let's see what they're going to bring on to pitch. And let's see. Coming on to pitch for the Athletics is going to be Bob Locker. Locker will come on to pitch. He has a win. He is 1-0. He is 1-0 in the postseason. So Locker will come on to pitch. He can pitch to six batters before he tires. We'll see how long he can come out there. Jim Connell joins us here at Yankee Stadium. You're saying Dave Hamilton? You'd rather have Hamilton in there, um, Tracy? 
Okay. Tracy Meehan says Dave Hamilton. So Locker will go back in, and I'll bring out Hamilton instead. He is the lefty, and is capable, of course. He can also pitch. So instead of Locker, it'll be Hamilton. So Dave Hamilton will come in to pitch for the Athletics, and he doesn't have any stats at the moment. They will re-pitch to Bloomberg. Hamilton will go ahead and pitch. Hamilton, 1-5, error on a grounder. Bloomberg, 3-3. Three, three. That's a ground ball. The ground ball, the third. That ball is hit the South Bando. His error rating is an 8. That's a 15. He'll take care of it and toss it over for the out. And they're now two away. And now here's Swoboda. Swoboda's 0 for 1. So Hamilton, he'll go ahead and pitch. Hamilton, 6-6. Six, six. That's blank. Swoboda, 6-6. Six, six. That's a ground ball to third base. And Bando again will get it. He'll take his time and toss it over and retire the side. 1-2-3 go the Yankees. But the Athletics lose Ken Holtzman for the game. He will return in his next start if he has one. 2 nothing after 4. Remember, injuries in the postseason are full-time. Thurman Munson, this is the third game he's going to miss, and he cannot return until the LCS. Felipe Alou is out for the rest of the series. He can return maybe in the ALCS. Houston lost Fred Gladding. He's done for the postseason. And Dennis Makey can return after one more game for the Reds. So right now, a few injuries here in this postseason. But then again, you know what? I don't mind injuries for the simple reason. It makes it, I think, a little bit more interesting. We go to the top of the fifth and the top of the order for Oakland. Here's Burt Campanaris. He's one for two. Two-nothing A's. Kekic with the pitch. Two-six. That's at the park. Yankees Stadium. One-one. Ground out to third. Taken care of there by Sanchez. And he'll throw it over for the out. Next up is Rudy. Rudy is 0 for 2. Kekic. A 6-1 against the righty. It's blank. Rudy. 2-3, and that's a ground out to shortstop. Taken care of there by Gene Michael. And over to first it goes, two down. And now Reggie. Reggie, one for two with a double. Two men down. Kekic, he will pitch. Kekic, 3-2, walk, one, ball four. He will walk Jackson. So Jackson trots to first on a walk. That's the first based on balls by Kekic. The next batter is Bando. Bando one for two with a single. Jackson had nine stolen bases. He won't get any here. Kekic, he'll go ahead and deal. Kekic, 6-2. That's at the park. Yankee Stadium, 1-6. And that's a ground ball to first base. Over there is Bloomberg. He'll call off Kekic and take it himself and retire the side. Nothing across except a walk. We go to the bottom of the fifth. Hamilton, he can still pitch to four batters before he, he tires, but we'll see how long they keep him in there. Bottom of the order for the Yankees, Celerino Sanchez leads off. He's 0 for 1. Hamilton, a 4-5. That's at the park. Yankees Stadium, 3-1, and that is a grounder to second base. Maxville is up with it, and he'll toss it over. One down. Next batter is Michael. Michael walked his first time up. Hamilton, 1-3, range play. Michael, 6-1. That's a fly ball straight away center field. Going after that is Angel Mangual. His range is a four. He's got it. Nice play by Mangual out there. Had to make it a little bit on the run. And that is out number two. Nice play out there by Angel. Next batter is Kekic. Now Kekic, he can pitch to four more batters before he tires. If there was anybody on base, I would pinch it for him. But he will hit here. 
We're in, this is 1972, not 2024. Hamilton, 6-2. Against the righty, a walk plus 10. 17, not a chance. Kekic, 5-3, and he gets a base hit pass short. Mike Kekic gets into the hitting act, and he will get a single. And Kekic is on first base saying, DH, I don't need no stinking DH. That'll bring up Clark. Clark is one for two with a double. He has been excellent for the Yankees so far in this postseason. Kekic is not going anywhere, I'm pretty sure, and no. Hamilton will now pitch to Clark. Hamilton, 5-6, strikeout two. Cold strike three on Clark, he got him. Seven minus five is two, that is a two, he got it. Clark can't believe it. And that'll retire the side. No runs and a hit. And it stays 2 nothing after 5. We go to the top of the 6th. Leading off for the Athletics will be Mike Epstein. And he's 0 for 2. Kekic gets the sign, and that's a 1-6. That's a walk plus 10. Is that 18 going to walk him? Yes, it will. Epstein becomes a 25 minus 2, a 23, and he will walk Epstein. So the A's get the leadoff man on. Second walk of the game issued by Kekic, and here comes Mangual. Mangual 1 for 2, infield double play. Epstein didn't have any stolen bases, and that's a 20. Kekic fires to first. And nope, Epstein will get back. Kekic has a weak pickoff rating, but it is there. Kekic will now pitch to Mangual. Kekic, 1-3, pitcher result. Righty, 1-11, to single pass the pitcher. Not this time, it's a 15. Mangual, 5-6, and it's a line out right to short. That's out number one. And Epstein will be doubled off on a one. No, he'll get back. Line drive right to shortstop. Gene Michael thought about throwing to first, but Epstein got back, and that will be an out. And now Dunkin' Donuts, and he's 0 for 2. Epstein on it first. 17, he's not going anywhere. Kekic will deal with Duncan. Kekic, 2-6, that's at the park. Yankee Stadium, 5-1, base hit, center field for Duncan. Epstein, base runner two, single to center, single to center, minus two, a zero, not happening. Epstein can only get to second base as Mercer throws that ball in there, and he'll stay right where it is. But now a, a big run in scoring position on a base hit. And now the batter is Maxville. Yankees getting the, getting some bullpen work going on. Kekic will be tired after Maxville. Maxville's two for two. Infield still a double play depth. Strategy, nothing on the three. Kekic will now pitch. Fans at Yankee Stadium hoping for a good pitch. Kekic with the deal. Kekic, 3-2, walk, 9. And, yep, that's ball four and the bases are loaded. And that'll be all for Mike Kekic. He will come out of the game. Ken Holtzman is the next, not Ken Holtzman, pinch hitter coming in for Dave Hamilton. They're not going to let him hit here, but Kekic will come out. And first we're going to see uh, what we want to bring in for the pitcher. And Tracy Meehan says bring in Matty Alou, and I will do that. So coming on to pinch hit for the Athletics will be Matty Alou. He also started the season with the St. Louis Cardinals, wound up on the Athletics later. Alou actually does, is actually a starter, and he will pinch it here. The Yankees need a pitcher, and they're going to go with – they are going to go with Fred Bean. One win, three losses, three saves, a 2-3-4 ERA. Bean will come in to pitch here, and Bean actually has a win in this postseason. He's 1-0. 
punch hit, Matty Alou? Wow, okay. Bases are loaded. Matty Alou will pinch hit against Fred Bean. Bean can pitch to eight batters. And they are going to call. They are going to call. They're going to call the infield in as the Yankees really cannot afford any runs the way the A's are pitching. Strategy roll. Big at bat coming up. Nothing on the 12. Bean will go ahead and make a pitch. Bean, 6-4. Strikeout six. That is high. Alou will swing. 4-4. Four, four, and it's a line drive to second base. That's out number two. And a one, two, three, or four. Someone's doubled off. It is a three, and he throws to second to get Dave Duncan. He is caught off the bag, and the inning is over. An L4-6 double play as Matty Lou hits it right to Clark, who throws to Michael. Duncan is off the bag, and that is the inning. Wow, that is a big missed opportunity by the Athletics. No runs, one hit, and a couple of walks. We go to the bottom of the sixth. That is a huge missed opportunity. Time out. For one second as I set reset everything here. Coming on to pitch for the Athletics now will be Bob Locker. Bob Locker does have, he has a win in the postseason. He's 1-0. He does have a win. Yankees, however, will lead off with John Ellis. He'll lead off for the Yankees here in the bottom of the six. 2 nothing Athletics. Ellis is 0 for 2. 2 nothing A's. Locker will now pitch. He can pitch to six batters. And we'll see what he can do. Locker. Locker, 4-2, strikeout, 9. Uh, no, that's too high. Ellis, 6-6, six, six, and he lines out right to short. Campanaris is there, one out. One away, and here comes Mercer. Mercer, one for two. Locker will go ahead and pitch. And there goes one of the dice. Let me see where it went. Dang, I hate that. Time out on the field for dice for dice recovery. Whatever you guys do, don't get old. It went something. This time, this one really disappeared. Where did you go? Uh, let's see here. Where did you go? Boy, it disappeared here somewhere. Uh, let me find it. Oh, I could just grab another white one, but let's see here. Let's see where it went. Okay, well, it looks like that guy will have to find another time. Let's get another one here. And... Uh, I guess I'll have to use that for now. All right, so I can't find the guy at the moment. I know it's around here somewhere, but we don't have time for that. Let's get back to the game. We will re-roll. So I think so. Bob Locker is the one rolling here, and let's see. Mercer's the next batter. He's one for two. Locker with the pitch. Locker five three possible error. Mercer. 3-5. That's a ground ball to short. That ball is hit to Campanaris. His error rating is a 6. 
That's a 15. Campanaris will get that, and he'll toss it over for the out, two down. And now the batter is White. White is 0 for 2. Two men down. Locker will pitch. Locker, 1-1 one, one against the switch left. That's a blank. White, 2-6, and that's a fly ball to center field. Angel Mangual will go ahead and get that, and he will make the catch and retire the side. One, two, three, go the Yankees. A's pitching, doing the job tonight. Two nothing after six. We go to the top of the seventh. Fred Bean will come back on the mound. Top of the order for the swinging A's. Here's Burt Campanaris. He's one for three with a single. Two nothing A's. Series tied at one in this ALDS. Bean, three six, possible error. Campanaris, three four, against the righty. It's a fly ball in the center field. Going after that is Bobby Mercer. His ever rating is a two. That's a 12. He'll make the catch. One out. No problem out there for Mercer. And now the batter is Rudy. Rudy is 0 for 3. Rudy had a, has had a good series, but he's struggling tonight. Bean with the pitch. Bean, 6-6, six, six, wild pitch, ball 1. 4-4, four, four, against the righty. Strikeout plus 10. That's a 5. That will get him out. Struck him out. And now 2 away. And now here's Reggie. Reggie is one for two, a double and a walk. Bean, he'll go ahead and pitch. Bean, one four against the lefty. That's a walk plus 10, and that will walk Reggie. So Reggie will find himself on base again. Third time he's on base. It'll now bring up Bando. Bando, one for three with a single. Jackson on it first. Anything on the strike? The 12 says no. Bean will go ahead and he will pitch. Bean, 3-3, three, three, strikeout, 19 is high. Bando, 4-2, base hit, center field. Jackson, base runner, four with two outs. Single to center, though, minus two. A one to two, Jackson will take third, and no, he'll hold at second base. A good throw in by Mercer to third base. They decide to hold him at second, which is probably the right play. As Bando gets his second hit, and now the batter is Epstein. Epstein is 0 for 2 with a walk. Two men down here, a chance opportunity for the swinging A's to try to get a, try to maybe get a run. Strategy roll. Nothing on the 18. Bean will pitch to Epstein. Fans at Yankee Stadium hoping for a good pitch. Bean, 3-5, strikeout, 19 is high. Epstein. 1-6, and that is a fly ball to left field. Getting under that will be Roy White, and he will make the catch and end the inning. No runs and a hit. And we have a pitcher's duel going on here, really, even though one pitcher is all, the pitchers are already out of the game. But it's 2 nothing. We are at the seventh inning stretch. Sing, take me out to the ball game. I'll be right back.
Don't forget, tomorrow night we will have more exciting baseball action as we go to Game 4 of the other American League Division Series between the Boston Red Sox and the Kansas City Royals. It will the, the Royals lead that series two games to one. The Red Sox are facing elimination. Sonny Siebert will be going for the Red Sox, and Bruce Dow Canton will be going for the Royals. That'll be tomorrow night, elimination game, game four in the other ALDS. The Red Sox and the Royals. Can the Red Sox hold off elimination and get that series back to Fenway Park for a game five? We will find that out tomorrow here on Inside Pitch. Let's see here. Jeff Merklin and Ian Brook, the creator of On Deck Baseball, joins us. And after further review with Steve Tower, joins us here at Yankee Stadium. Bottom of the seventh inning here. A's lead 2-0. Series tied at 1 in this ALDS. Leading off for the Yankees will be Ron Bloomberg. Bloomberg is 0 for 2. Walker can still pitch for three more batters. And yes, check out Steve Tower's amazing channel because it is absolutely amazing. Locker with the pitch. Locker, 4-4. Against the lefty, it's a base hit right up the middle and into the outfield. Bloomberg leads off with a single. A base hit for Bloomberg right past Locker. And now the batter is Swoboda. He'll bat. He's 0 for 2. Infield a double play depth. Bloomberg didn't have any stolen bases. He won't get any here. Locker, he'll go ahead and pitch. Locker, 6-4. That's a blank. Swoboda, 2-1. That is a ground out to second base. 1-0-1. One, one. Shortstop pivot. Kepineris plus one. A one or a two with a double play. No. Bloomberg thrown out at second. Swoboda will make first at the fielder's choice. One down, and the batter is Sanchez. Sanchez, not that great a hitter against righties. And they are, and they are going to, but he has a better average, though, than Bernie Allen. They're going to pinch it. Celerino Sanchez is going to come out of the inning, come out of the game, and coming in to take over at third base and pinch it will be Bernie Allen. Allen does have a uh, Allen does have a uh, stats here, and he is right now he is three for thirteen for the series, and he does for the postseason. He does have a home run. So Sanchez coming out of the game. So now Allen will take over at third. He has the same exact rating. So Sobota now at first base, one out, bomb of the seven. And he says, uh, let Allen, uh, let Locker continue to pitch. Strategy roll. That is a one. Sobota gets the steal sign, but with a stolen base rating of zero, uh, that would probably be the dumbest thing I could ever do. Locker, 6'6". Six, six. That, is, that is a blank. He is not tired. Allen... A 5-6. It's a fly ball to left field. Getting over that will be Joe Rudy. He'll make the catch for out number two. Now Locker is tired after Allen. And now the batter will be Michael. Michael will bat. Michael is 0-for-1 with a walk. Swoboda on it first. Two outs. A's lead 2-0 here. Tied at 1 in this ALDS. Strategy roll. Nothing on the 16. Swoboda stays where he is. Locker. 5-4. Home run chance. Switch left. A zero. Not happening. Michael. 1-6. And instead he gets over it and blasts it to second base. Getting over there is Maxville. He'll take it to the bag. He'll tag out second himself. Force out Swoboda. And that will end the inning. No runs and a hit for the Yankees. Still 2 nothing A's after 7. Your uke is tuned up for later tonight. That is awesome there, Mr. Tower. Remember also, Steve, I'm still looking at my trip to Boston. 
So I want to ask you real quick. I want you to look at uh, June 5th, I believe. Um, June 5th of this year. Okay. The Boston Red Sox are going to be hosting the Atlanta Braves at Fenway Park. It's a day game. I want to know if it's possible you can make that. I know it's still early. We're in March, but I'm about to probably put through my trip for Boston very soon. So look at that and see if it's possible you can make it. And if you can, I'll take care. Um, if you can, let me know. We go to the top of the eighth inning, 2 nothing. Fred Bean can pitch to one more batter before he tires. Angel Mangual will go ahead and lead off. He's one for three. As PFLQR joins us here at Yankee Stadium. Bean will pitch. Bean, 6-3 against the righty. It's a blank. Mangual, 1-6. Base hit right past second base. Mangual has his second hit of the game. Now the batter is Duncan. Duncan is 1-3. for three. Bean is now tired. That's going to be it for him. Well, actually, he's due to lead off. You know what? They're going to see if he can go try to get another batter out. Bean is tired, but they're going to let him pitch. Duncan is one for three. Mangual on it first. Strategy rolls are still active. Nothing on the seven. Bean will go ahead and pitch. Bean, two, four. Against the righty. Home run result against the righty. Duncan needs a 20. Well, I guess leaving him in there one batter too long uh, might have just be uh, a, a not probably was a bad idea. Because Duncan just hit that one right over center field. Kaboom! That ball is high! That ball is deep! That ball is gone! Home run, Dave Duncan! Stadium groans. <sighs> Dave Duncan gets his first home run of the postseason. At least I believe that was, yeah. That's his first home run of the postseason. And it's now 4 nothing A's. A big-time blast over the center field wall. And the Athletics now have a 4 nothing lead. The batter now is Maxville. That will be it for Bean. Bean put that right over a plate. That was a definite meatball, and Duncan turned that into lasagna. And now coming on to pitch for the Yankees will be Lindy McDaniel. Three wins, a loss, 2.25 ERA. McDaniel will now become the third Yankee pitcher. And he actually has a loss in this postseason. He's 0-1. So Lindy McDaniel will now pitch here. 4 nothing A's. Maxville batting. He's 2 for 2. Two singles and a walk. McDaniel will pitch. McDaniel, 3-3, three, three, range play. Maxville, 1-4, base hit right field, but it's a range play for Ron Swoboda. Swoboda's range is a 1. Does he do what he did in 1969? Yes, he does. Swoboda dives and makes the catch. He needed a 1, and he got it. One out. Ron Swoboda does what he does in 1969 here in 1972. One down. We'll see a pinch hitter for Bob Locker as he is done. And the A's will go to the bench. And let's see who they're going to go with. And coming on to pinch it will be Ted Kubiak. 205 average, 15 RBIs. Kubiak is the starting second baseman against right-handed pitchers. So Kubiak will bat against McDaniels. One out here. McDaniel, 3-6, range play. Kubiak, 1-2. That's a ground ball to the shortstop. That's hit to Burt. That is hit to Gene Michael. Michael was good. His range is a four. He'll get that one and get take care of it and throw it over to first for the out. So two away. And now here's Campanaris. Campanaris one for four. McDaniel will go ahead and pitch. 
McDaniel, 2-6, strikeout, 2, swing and a miss, dropped him out. He got Campanaris and the inning is over. Two runs, two hits, a two-run bomb by Dave Duncan. It's 4 nothing A's going in the bottom of the eighth. You can go with Kubiak, double switch in the second, bring in Horland. All right, so. Uh, I'm so happy today's Friday. And no, I don't work tomorrow. That's a, good, that's a great thing. All right, so you want Kubiak to go at second base for Maxville. I don't know about that. Maxville's a range of three. Compared to Kubiak's range of two, I don't know if I want. I don't know if you really. I don't know if you really want to do that. And Kubiak can't hit the way uh, Maxville does. But okay, I'll go with you. So that means that Max, that Kubiak, uh, he'll go into the ninth spot. Maxville will come out. No switch then. Yeah, I don't. I don't like that move. I don't like that move. I think I think you I think you keep Maxville. He's better at third second base than Kubiak is. So um but I will bring in Horland for you. So coming on to pitch for the Athletics will be Joe Horland. Three wins, four losses, a save, a 300 ERA. Orland does not have any stats at the moment. So Horland will be the uh fourth pitcher. Hamilton got a hold and uh, Locker got a hold. So Horland will Horland will pitch. We'll see a pinch hitter for Lyndon McDaniel as the Yankees will bring on a batter, and it is going to be Johnny Collison. 258 average, nine homers, 34 RBIs. Collison is a starter against right-handed pitching. So Johnny Collison will pinch hit against Horland. Bottom of the eight, four nothing A's. Horland, two one walk. Nineteen is high. Collison, three three, and a line drive right to second base. That's caught by Maxville, and that is out number one. And now the batter is Clark. Clark is one for three. He's got a double. Horland with the pitch. Horland six three. That is a blank. Clark, 5-1, and that is a ground ball to short. Getting over there is Campanaris. He'll go ahead, toss it over, out number two. And now the batter is Ellis. Ellis is 0-3. Horland sets up with the deal. Horland, 4-4, four, four. that's a range play. Ellis, 3-3, three, three. and against the righty, it's a fly ball to right field. Going after that is Reggie Jackson. He was good in right field. His range is a four, but he's not going to get that one. And that's going to be a base hit for John Ellis. Ellis will get his first hit of the game. Just out of Jackson's reach. Keeps the inning alive now for Mercer. Mercer is one for three. Strategy rolls are off. Ellis is on it first. Horland will go ahead and pitch. Horland, 6-6. Six, six. That's a blank. He's not tired. Mercer, 4-4. Four, four. And against the righty, it's a ground ball to first base. Epstein will go ahead and get that. And he is going to take it to the bag himself. And that will end the inning. No runs in a hit for the Yankees. After eight, it's still 4 nothing. Swing and A's. We go to the top of the ninth. Leading off for the athletics will be Joe Rudy. He is 0 for 4, still looking for his first hit. Yankees need a pitcher. And they are going to go with... It's the ninth inning, so anybody can come out, can come in to pitch. And it is go, they're going to go with... Let's see, got a righty, lefty, and a righty. Uh, it can be anybody. So it doesn't matter if they are, it doesn't matter if they're a French player or not. 
I would not bring in uh, Lyle for this. Coming on to pitch for the Yankees is going to be Steve Bladerick. He has no record, only had four innings pitched in 1972, but he did make the postseason roster. He's got four strikeouts, so Steve Bladerick is actually going to come on to pitch here at the top of the ninth inning. And leading off is Rudy. Top of the ninth, four nothing A's. Bladerick. 1-1. One, one. That's an automatic out. That's simple. And it's going to be a fly ball to right field. Getting over there will be Swoboda. And they'll make the play for out number one. Next batter is Reggie. Reggie is one, is two, is one for two. Doubled and walked twice. Bladerick with the pitch. Bladerick, 6-3. Strikeout 10. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And that's out number two. And now the batter is Bando. Bando is two for four, two singles. Bladerick, he will pitch. Bladerick, one for range play at the park. Yankee Stadium, 4-1. That's a fly ball hit to right field. Going after that again is Ron Swoboda. Again, his range is a one. Does Swoboda do it again? Not this time. And that's going to be a double. Bando hits that over Swoboda's head. He had no chance to get that one. And Bando will get a double, and he will wind up at second base. So an insurance run at second. Here's Epstein. Epstein is 0 for 3 with a walk. Bladerick, he'll go ahead and pitch to Epstein. Fans here at Yankee Stadium hoping this new, this whoever this guy is can get the job done. Bando on it second. Bladerick with the pitch. Bladerick, 3-1, strikeout. 17 is high. Epstein, 5-1, and that's a fly ball to center field. And getting over that is Mercer. He'll make the catch and retire the side. No runs and a hit for the A's. They have a 4-0 lead going into the bottom of the ninth. But will we see some Yankee ninth inning magic? It is a 4 nothing lead. Leading off for the Yankees is Roy White. White is 0-3. Does Tracy Meehan want to keep Horland out there, or does he want to go to Raleigh? Do you go to fingers here and try to lock this game up? It's not a safe situation, but it really doesn't matter. You want to go ahead. Okay. So Horland will go ahead and pitch. He can, do, he can pitch for three more batters before he tires. Bottom of the ninth inning, 4 nothing Athletics. Joe Horland will stay out there and pitch to White. Horland, 1-5. That's at the park. Yankee Stadium, 6-5. And it's a fly ball to right field. Reggie Jackson will get to it. And he'll make the catch. One out. And now here's Bloomberg. Bloomberg is one for three. He's got a single. Horland. He will pitch. Five, four. Strikeout six. That is high. Bloomberg. Five, three. It's a power hit to center field. That's a 14. And that is going to be a triple. Bloomberg bounces that one off the center field wall. Rolls away. From Mangual, Bloomberg will slide into third with a triple. Bloomberg now two for four. And the batter is Swoboda. And he's got a bat. Because the guy's on the bench, no good. Now, now, now you have a save situation with a runner with the runner with the uh, tying run in the hole. So now what do you do here, uh, Tracy Mann? It is now a save situation. Bloomberg on at third, not yet. Okay, infield will play back. The runner at third don't mean anything. Horland will pitch a Soboda. Soboda is 0 for 3. Strategy rolls are not on. Horland will pitch. Horland, 1-2 against the righty. It's a blank. Swoboda, 1-2, and that is a ground ball to third. 
That'll get picked up by Bando. Bloomberg will score. Throw goes to first for the out, two down, and the Yankees will get a run. So it is now four to one as the shutout is gone. But there are now two outs. And the last chance for the Yankees will be Bernie Allen. Horland is now tired. And Allen is 0 for 1. Coming in for Sanchez. And now with two outs here in the bottom of the ninth. 4 to 1 A's. As they now get the run in. So not, I agree with you. I'll let Horland pitch. Horland will pitch to Allen. Fans here at Yankee Stadium hoping that Allen can keep it going. Horland, 5-3 against the lefty. It's a blank. Allen, 2-6. The game continues. Base hit right past second. Allen keeps it going. Single for Allen. Now the tying run is on deck. And the batter is Gene Michael. Michael is 0-2 with a walk. And now he says bring in fingers. So that'll be it for Horland. Unfortunately, he won't get a hold, but they're going to go ahead and bring in the Hall of Famer. Coming on to pitch for the Athletics for a one-out save, Mr. Raleigh Fingers, Hall of Famer. Absolutely. Fingers uh, does have a save. He has one save in this postseason. Allen on it first, two outs. Strategy rolls are still off. Michael will bat against Fingers. Fans here at Yankee Stadium hoping for a hit. Fingers gets the sign, and now he will deal. Fingers, 5-3, strikeout 11. That is high. Michael swings, 3-3. Three, three. It's a ground ball to second base. Getting over there is Maxville. He'll take it. He'll run to second base. Jump on the bag, forcing out Bernie Allen. That's your game. The, the A's will go ahead and take a 2-1 series lead. They beat the Yankees tonight. Four to one. Stadium groans. <sighs> one run, two hits for the Yankees. But it will be the swinging A's coming away with the win today. A four to one victory over the Yankees. They take a 2-1 series lead. And now the Yankees will be facing elimination on Tuesday. Big win for the A's as they take the home field advantage back as they win one here in Yankee Stadium. And it's a victory here for the swinging A's and a 4-1 to one victory and the Bronx. A well, good game tonight here between these two. Good pitching by pretty much really both teams, but the A's come away with the victory. Final line score coming up. For the Athletics, four runs, 11 hits, no errors. For the Yankees, one run, seven hits, no errors. The winning pitcher will be Ken Holtzman. I will give him the victory. He will get the win. Mike, and he'll go to 1-0 on the postseason. Mike Kekic will take the loss. He drops to 0-1. Hamilton and Locker get a couple, get a hold. Fingers will pick up his second save. So that is all here from Yankee Stadium as the Oakland Athletics come away with the victory and they knock out the, Yan the Yankees today 4-1 to one, and now the Yankees have their backs to the wall. Tomorrow night, we now begin the game fours of this round. We stay in the American League for ALDS game four. The Boston Red Sox take on the Kansas City Royals. The Royals lead that series two games to one. It will be Sonny Siebert going for the Red Sox and Bruce Del Canton going for the Royals. Royals win. They punch their ticket to the ALCS. Red Sox win. They're going back to Fenway for a game five on Wednesday. What will happen there tomorrow night? We now have three straight elimination games. 
And we all know the hardest game to win in a series is the last one. Red Sox, Royals, Seabird, and Dal Canton. Be there or be square. PFLQR, Tracy Meehan, V-Dub Productions. After further review with Steve Tower, David Vega, Ian Brooke, Jeff Merklin, Brian B., Will Mack, Phoenix Knight, and uh, John Haverly, Jim Connell, Midlife Crisis. And uh, let's see here. Jimmy Jam, Frank Rosenk. And, of course, Jeremy Brooks, who always seems to come in there as one of the first ones to always show up. May have to make him a moderator. Thank you all for joining me tonight. Please leave a like on your way out to the turnstiles. Subscribe if you're not done so. And make sure you hit the bell. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Stay smart. Stay strong. We'll see you guys tomorrow night. The Oakland Athletics defuse the Bronx Bombers. They win tonight 4-1. to one. They now lead this American League Division Series. Two games to one. See you tomorrow night.